was so hard. Try to stand up. <laughs> okay. What's up and welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And do not be stupid like me and run a half marathon with no training. <laughs> I'm kidding. It wasn't too bad. You will see. It's Friday at 9.26. I just got out of the shower and I am running a half marathon tomorrow. I literally was at my Seder, my Passover Seder. If you don't know, Jews have Passover and pretty much a family dinner-ish, if you want to call it. And my grandpa was like, oh, to my cousin, Daniel. Hey, Daniel, by the way, <laughs> just to be clear, sorry about that. <laughs> he was like, Daniel, when was the last time you ran a half marathon? Tate's running one tomorrow. I was like, Tate, when are you running one? And he said, <laughs> he said, tomorrow morning. And I was like, can I come? And he said, yes. And I'm literally running a half marathon tomorrow. No prep. <laughs> Just clarifying. <laughs> no prep. I literally got out an old pair of cross country shoes, digged through my old closet to get it. Then <laughs> I plugged in my earphones and drank a bottle of water. I'm gonna drink another one right now because I ran cross country, so I know hydration is important. And we leave at 6 a.m. tomorrow, so I'll let you know how this goes. I have zero preparation. I do about 10 minutes on the Stairmaster every day, but I do love cardio. And honestly, I'm feeling excited. I don't feel any nervousness in me. I already paid, it was $80 to register. And also, let's talk about how it's called the Hippity Hoppity Something Race. And literally, I'm Jewish and don't celebrate Easter, but Hippity Hoppity Woohoo! I'm running my first half marathon, and I'm just so excited because I just could really use a moment in my life right now, a moment where I can say I did something and I feel like life has been a little slow, slow. You know, I'm just waiting for results and something to pop off and a lot of life takes patience and hard work, but this is something that I get to accomplish tomorrow and get to always say I've done. So I'm excited and not nervous at all. I just love moving my body so much. There's a four and a half hour finish time, but <laughs> game on never haven't ran in years but I have my old cross country shoes that are worn in okay the most I ever ran in cross country was 11 miles once mostly the most I ever did was seven but I just think I'll walk if not as long as I you just have to pass within four and a half hours which easy peasy so I will I'm going to get into bed and I will see you tomorrow I'm feeling so excited to accomplish something today. Don't judge me. I need to fix my eyebrows. I mean, like, yeah, I'm gonna run a half marathon. I'm gonna look freaking cute doing it, okay? It's crazy that, like, people have probably spent weeks training for this. But there's this guy, Jesse Itzler. He's literally my idol. And in a non-creepy way, since he has a wife and he's, like, 50. I want to marry someone exactly like him. He's very into health and fitness, and I love his mindset. And unfortunately, his kids are all too young, else I would go after one of them. But I guess I'll have to wait for someone else. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to put some sunscreen on because I'm going to be running in Arizona heat. A lot, a lot of it because I can't really see it. We're good. good. I'm just wearing this plain top. And I'm gonna put my shoes on. Yellow sports bra for happiness. <laughs> Just kidding. And I put my contacts in for the first time in literally ever. I'm like, I have to. All right. All I have to do is get my earphones. I'm good. All right, so I'm looking for running socks, which is probably gonna be hard to find. I probably should have done this last night since I have to leave right now. Alrighty, we got the socky socks. I'm gonna get some water. I'll get one for my brother too. I'm going with my brother if you miss that. And my earphones. Water, water. Okay, we have a blue fully charged. All right, this is my younger brother, Tate. He has zero preparation. He's never even ran before. At least I have cross country. 
on me. Tell you, how are you feeling? I ran a mile a couple months ago, so. <laughs> oh, stop. I'm pretty much ready to go. You said you ran a mile every day. Yeah, back in like, back in like early <laughs> February. Stop. <laughs> oh, well, I, all I did was put my running socks on and, do you have your earphones? Well, off we go. We'll let you know. Tate, Tate's goal is Tate. Tell them what your goal is. To finish. To finish. Why ne- while never walking? He doesn't want to walk. I don't want to walk. My goal is to walk, or run ten minutes, walk two minutes, and maybe switch it to run five minutes, walk one minute. So we'll see. <gasps> we literally just pulled up, and the shit might be on a track, a freaking track. <gasps> Your friends. Yeah. Why was I imagining myself running laps? Or running, uh, like, through a whole city. And now we're going to be running laps. Look, there's a spot right next to this guy. Oh, what a perfect set. Is there a spot next to them? Oh, my God, close. Huh? Gotta love a doodle. <laughs> Uh, that gives me PTSD. <laughs> 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 Half marathoners, you should be in a purple bib this morning. And then look down at your belly, make sure that bib is purple. If you got any other car. <laughs> this will be your start in I ran with my brother. We were essentially doing eight minutes running, two minutes walking. Actually, he was ahead of me, but then got stuck with me. How you doing, Tate? My calves hurt, that's it. Woo! And did that until mile eight, and I was really grateful to have him by my side. I go to the bathroom. This dude doesn't even wait for me. He just keeps going. And so then I was alone the rest of the race, and I'm not blaming him at all, but I do think, I have, and I'm not going to say this to him either, but I do think it was a little rude that he didn't wait for me because I was very much waiting for him and helping him out, but that's just kind of how he is. But anyways... So then I was alone for the rest of the time, which was really hard on me, and I was in a lot of pain, like. My back has no air circulation. None. Mile six, mile six. Mile nine to 13. Ooh, pain, pain, pain. So just so you know, when you're watching, I was with him until mile eight. And at the end, I was alone. All right, mile eight. <sighs> ah! <laughs> it's mile eight. I'm fully walking. Maybe the last person, but don't give a shit. <laughs> mile nine. <laughs> Owie, my hips hurt. <laughs> my hips and my back. My back feels so freaking tight. But if I walk the rest of this, oh my gosh. Okay, part of me feels like I have indescribable pain in my hips, and the other part is like I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm kidding. I'm not fine. And now, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Owie. My heart. My body. My hips. <laughs> I've been walking. Okay, wait. Let me just take one pause. Oh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Whoa squatted once oh oh my gosh oh 
sorry about the noises. Unreal pain. It's so bad. It hurts so bad. I'm just one step at a time. Luckily, I can walk. <laughs> I mean, like, luckily I have permission for myself to walk and not run the whole thing. Oh, ho, ho, my backy. Uh -huh. Ow. Let's go. Mm. <sighs> I just got some more Gatorade. And I could walk the last two miles. But in my head, I'm thinking if I run, I'll be literally done in like 30 minutes or like 20 to 30 minutes. So I think I'm gonna run in a second. All right, it's been two and a half hours. I think I'm like literally one of the last ones. Like literally. Oh, but I'm so proud of myself. And I think that even though I'm one of the last ones in the race, I'm like first in my heart. <laughs> I'm so awesome. <laughs> The pain I feel is unreal. It's unreal. All right, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna finish my last mile strong. I'm not gonna run all the way. I'm just gonna start running. Are you ready? <sighs> that was so hard. You can try to stand up. Okay. Watch your oldest. I didn't think it was possible, but that just made me love myself even more. I'm the shit. I am the shit. Shout out to Jesse Itzler. Keep <laughs> my brother from him being. He can't even walk. This is the I'm never leaving here. Bye. He's telling me to get up. He thinks he thinks it's bad for me to not walk. Ah. Ah. My head feels like I'm gonna pass out. I'm not feeling well. I think I could puke. I just got home. <laughs> I just took a cold shower and I feel a lot better. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Who does this shit? Alright. I took a little nappy nap nap nap. And it's 12.30 and I haven't eaten anything so I'm gonna go get some food. I'm feeling like really lightheaded and not okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm hoping this will make me feel better. Mm. Uh. Uh. Excuse me. Yum, yum. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mango. Mango makes me happy. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel alive. Woo. Guess I needed that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello. 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 
Welcome back. Oh. Oh my gosh. That was insane. <gasps> I had some fuel. <laughs> I love that answer. Gosh, bus food. I don't know how bad I needed it. I didn't eat anything, anything. But, bro, if I would have ate after that raise, I would have puked. I would have pukatoed. It's not a word. It isn't my dictionary. One thing I remember feeling on the raise is like, I remember being like, it hurts, but like, I love like feeling things. Like, it was pain, but I like felt so unnumb, you know? I felt so unbored, un. Like, I felt like something. I liked that. My stomach just said something to me. Fruit. I want some. I ate all of it. <laughs> no, I, just... I have mango though. I ate three this morning. No way. Are they fire still? Yeah, they're good. They're better than yesterday. Or no like... They tasted better than yesterday? Yeah. I caught it in my mouth. You, you, you ate, you heated up though. Say hi to my YouTube channel. This is my little brother. Now give me a kiss on the cheek. No, actually give me your cheek. I'll give you a kiss. Give me a second. Give me a second. If you're not Jewish, Jewish people eat these potato latkes and potato with pancakes. potato pancakes with applesauce and sour cream. sour cream fire they taste like happiness well and we'll the see re they're also good by themselves they're also good by themselves. really good no, okay not. so um imagine we don't have the same mom okay uh okay your mom's so fat that when she goes in the oceans the whales surround her and say we are family even though you're fatter than me Wow. Your mom is so dumb. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I give up. No, you can't give up. No, I give up just for a few tries. Uh -huh. Well, it's a half marathon, so. No, you have to say no word. You know what you need to say to yourself, Kate? You don't say that. You say, it's okay, I'll get it next time. You know why you're not getting it? Because you're not being kind to yourself. Okay. Let me hype myself I want you up. to say, yeah, hype yourself up. Let me try it for here. Yeah, right. and, and tell yourself you're the best. Even if you miss it, you're still the best. You're the best. Yes. Around. You're the best. Still, that was so, now say that was so much closer than it's been. Okay. Yes, okay. I'm doing great. No one else can throw bitch like me. Oh, so close. I'm gonna smash that. <laughs> no. You have to keep trying, bro. You're unstoppable. You know what you should say to yourself? Most people wouldn't even try this many times. That makes you even better than everyone else, too. What's you? I made it through. I don't know how. I just got my energy back. It's around 3 p.m. here, and I ate. I have some fuel in me, and fuck yes. Fuck yes. I ran a half marathon. I am unstoppable. I am incredible. I was one of the last ones to finish, and I'm still amazing. I am amazing, and I'm just so excited, and I hope this little journey inspires you to move your body to...
more. Thanks for watching, and once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye! I'm half marathon runner. Whoop, whoop.